I was about 15 months old when my parents finally realized that I was not developing as my older brother had. I wasn't able to roll over onto my side or sit up without personal assistance. So they took me to a battery of doctors who examined me and discovered that I had been born with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, also called the baby killer. My life expectancy was about eight years. It was when I got into middle school and high school that the loneliness became so great because of my disease. I thought that if I had friends, it's because they pitied me, and I didn't want that. I thought if my parents loved me, it's because they felt sorry for me, and I didn't want that. In fact, I prayed for two years, if there really was a God, that he'd kill me in my sleep. And in desperation, I even pulled out a bottle of poison one day and contemplated suicide. The reason I didn't end my life, I had no certain where I would spend eternity. But it was when I was 28 years old that I realized the cause of my loneliness was a lack of relationship to Jesus Christ. And so sitting on the side of my bed, I repented of my sin and trusted Jesus' death and resurrection to pay for my sins. And that's when real life began. Now many people think when you give your life to Christ that there are no more problems, but Jesus never promised that. What he did promise, he would always walk with you through those stormy days. It was several years later that my wife died of brain cancer. And I remember sitting in that room on May 31st, 1994, feeling great grief, but no loneliness. Because with Jesus by my side, I knew that I could face anything that life had to bring. Jesus promises he will be the friend that's closer than a brother. My name is Billy Graham, and that's my redemption story.